Howdy, I'm John Richmond, and I'm the inventor of the Sluice Goose Industries Gold Drop, gold and pay dirt separating processor. The Gold Drop runs by the physics of elutriation, separating the much more dense gold from the less dense dirt through this vertical water flow of elutriation. The Gold Drop is operated by this 12 volt powered bilge pump, 1100 gallons per minute, powered by this solar panel and that 12 volt battery. Pay dirt is introduced wet into the funnel and is washed into the trap by that water flow being introduced into the funnel which washes the dirt down into the gold drop trap. The vertical flow of the water coming up into the trap supports the dirt, in this case black sand, into the trap but can't support the gold. So the gold drops out of the black sand and into the jar. The tailings that escape the gold drop are discharged across this magnet sluice which is lined in magnetite and then the tailings dump into the tailings bucket. The magnetite in the sluice acts like quicksand to any dense particles, any dense gold particles that escape the gold drop and sink into the magnetite as they make their way to the tailings bucket. To collect the gold, one increases the flow of the lutriation up into the trap to suspend completely the dirt in the trap. Close the gate valve and then unscrew the jar. Dump out the jar contents into the pan to reveal the gold collected in the process of running through the gold drop. And there is our gold. A little bit of mineral involved, but those are easy pickings to get rid of those products to have clean gold. We'll finish the process by removing the magnetite from the magnet sluice, painting it out, and seeing what tiny gold was recovered in the magnetite.
this is the extent of the mineral and the black sand in the magnet sluice. Now I'll use the spin it off to remove the magnetite from the mineral that was collected inside the magnet sluice. This is the action of the spin it off. It removes the magnetite by spinning magnets. The magnetite does not have a chance to capture the gold because the spin it off tosses each particle of magnetite end over end and it cannot retain the gold being picked out of the pan using the spin it off device. You retract the magnet to release the magnetite. Now what is left is only the mineral that was captured by the magnet sluice as the discharge exited the gold drop. Now we'll use the design of the gold claw pan to separate this mineral from the gold. Give it a good sloshing around to make all the dense materials drop to the bottom and then quite quickly while you're shaking dump the overburden across the large ripples in the back of the pan to reduce the amount of material in the pan so as you get to a vertical position you dumped a majority of the mineral. Now we'll go ahead and wash everything back to the front of the pan. And then we'll dump across these ripples in the front of the pan in order to see what small gold was recovered. So there you can see the flower gold that was discharged by the gold drop but captured in the magnet sluice. So we'll do another quick cleanup to reveal that material. So now we'll do a, do a little wash to remove the black sand from one end of the pan down to the other to reveal the flower gold captured 
by the magnet sluice. And there we have the flower gold that was captured by the magnet sluice.